The Art of Manipulation by R.B. Sparkman Are you surprised that some people, no matter what they want from others, achieve everything? While no matter how hard you try, you get nothing? What do you need to learn to persuade people to give you what you want? Do you think it's impossible to convince people to work in your way? Every person has unique qualities, so by studying and understanding them, you can control them and get what you want from them. This is called the art of manipulation, handling people. Only 5% of people have mastered this skill. Manipulating people can be either bad or good. The person using manipulation tactics depends on whether they are good or bad. In this summary, you will learn that you can achieve whatever you want, whether it's your business, personal life, or love life. In this, you will learn different strategies to manipulate people easily, without force. These strategies will help you control people and situations. From this summary, you will understand how to avoid people who manipulate and cheat. This will help you avoid emotional and financial losses. In this way, you can transform from a straightforward person to an intelligent one. On this journey, you will also learn how manipulation helps you survive in the world. Additionally, you will learn how a manipulator controls others and gains power. So, are you ready to convince people, persuade them, and achieve what you want, making your business, personal life, and love life successful. This summary will include you in the 5% of people who understand manipulation. Character Types to Watch Out For In the world we live in, you will encounter some cunning individuals who use innocent people to run their own lives. This truth will surely prompt you to learn how to avoid being used by others and prevent yourself from becoming foolish. Knowing about the character of such wrong individuals will help you keep a distance from them and avoid being their prey. Pay attention to those who explain things excessively. Such individuals try to compensate for a lack of trust. You need to be cautious about them because they attempt to deceive you with their lies. People who repeatedly talk about something may be dishonest. They provide you with a lot of details to make you feel reassured about their words. A way to know the true colors of a person you are dealing with is to listen to their story again. The way they narrate their story reveals whether they are truthful or not. Compare the two times you heard it to check if the person told you the same story. Furthermore, when you know someone who lies to others, never trust that person. Understand that if such people can lie to someone else, they can also lie to you. Be cautious of those who claim to have had a lot of money in the past, which has now disappeared. This indicates that the person you are dealing with is lying about something. While it is possible that they once had a significant amount of money and are now bankrupt, it is wise not to engage in any deal related to money with such individuals. Seeking advice on money matters from someone who is financially weak is not prudent. You should also be cautious of unreliable individuals who cannot keep track of essential matters. Managing all necessary aspects in any business is quite challenging. A truly intelligent person keeps their focus and concentration on critical problems. R.B. Sparkman knew a man named Hardy who proved that a person who always repeats himself is a liar. Hardy called Sparkman from jail. He was arrested for drinking alcohol in public. Hardy requested Sparkman to bail him out as he considered Sparkman his only true friend. Hardy kept saying that Sparkman would never regret giving him bail. Sparkman trusted him, paid his bail, but Hardy vanished without returning a penny. Despite repeatedly trusting Hardy, his words held no truth. 
Hardy is an example to be aware of and never trust. By staying alert and handling things with caution, you can avoid being foolish and becoming a victim of theirs. How to make a slave out of a person? If you believe that always treating someone well will yield results according to your expectations, you are mistaken. Always remember that people want only what they have never been able to obtain themselves. So repeatedly instilling trust in them can make you a good manipulator. To apply this strategy effectively, you need to follow two steps. First, give the person you want to manipulate what they desire. This way, you are creating a pattern. Second, observe that person when they come under your control and see how they suffer when you stop giving them what they want. Whenever you feel that the person is taking you for granted, take back what you gave. This trick triggers a part of people's nature that makes them desire everything they don't have. This manipulation trick can be applied in your personal, business, and love life. R.B. Sparkman knew a beautiful girl when he was 18, and they dated. During a date, Sparkman noticed that the girl was trying to hide a wound under her left eye. When he inquired about the injury, she was so honest that she told him everything. The girl revealed that she was in a relationship with a guy named Bill, where they often broke up, and then he would come back. She knew that Bill was not worthy, but she couldn't leave him. Bill frequently abused her. The girl decided to leave Bill and talk to him about it, but Bill asked her to kiss him for the last time before leaving. This continued for about five minutes, and they ended up getting close again. It was clear that now the girl was under Bill's control. Bill used intermittent reinforcement to keep her in his control, manipulating her. He used to treat her well for some time and then cause her pain when she stopped giving him what he wanted. Let's understand this situation deeply. The girl's condition was exactly like the pigeon in an experiment. Inside the pigeon's cage, there was a strap that the pigeon had to hit with its beak to get food. When it got food, it didn't peck the strap too hard. But when the food came intermittently, the pigeon got nervous. This made the pigeon peck the strap harder each time the food paused. This concept is called intermittent reinforcement and works as motivation for the pigeon. Interestingly, many studies have proven that intermittent reinforcement works for humans too. The same happened with Bill and the girl. Bill was using intermittent reinforcement on the girl, making her infatuated with him. For a while, Bill would treat her well, and then he would cause her pain. The girl couldn't understand what her place or importance was in Bill's life. Because of this, she became eager to obtain what she didn't have, which was Bill's love. She was unaware that Bill had taken advantage of her, and she became a puppet in his hands. She became blinded by Bill's love and, despite facing abuse, didn't want to lose him. And the meek shall manipulate the world. When someone behaves as if they know everything, you are clearly dealing with a person lacking intelligence. The reality is that a person who believes they know nothing turns out to be the smartest. When you need to take control, being soft or gentle is an excellent tactic. You can show that you don't want to argue or fight with others. Keep your body posture soft as well. Once people know that you know a lot, your success and failures will be used against you. Your failures will be humiliated, and some people will dislike you for your success. Moreover, when you appear to know everything, your manipulation plan won't be successful. People may accuse you of trying to use them, and they might reject your plan even before giving you a chance. A successful manipulation depends on how well it is concealed. Act naive or unaware, never hinting 
that you are manipulating others. When people think you are gentle and not prone to conflict, they may come forward to help you. They might even share information with you that you can use to manipulate them, thinking you will never confront them. A soft person who acknowledges the need for improvement has an increased chance of success. Your skill or talent also improves because you don't believe you know everything. R.B. Sparkman learned to be soft from a successful black man who had achieved success in selling vacuum cleaners, cars, and machines in a restaurant. The man had said that anyone who thinks they know a lot easily becomes a fool. If you want to extract money from such people, you can easily do so. Sparkman didn't pay much attention to the man's words until he heard the same from other successful people. A millionaire once said that he is not so foolish to trust everything he is told. He also mentioned that he is still learning something new every day and that nobody should consider themselves too smart to stop learning. Sparkman got this advice when he attended the Millionaire's Management Training Program. At that time, Sparkman was a recent graduate, thinking he had a lot of knowledge. However, because of the millionaire's words, Sparkman questioned himself about why he thought he knew everything when someone earning millions had said there was still much to learn. How to avoid being taken in financial dealings. Money brings power, and those who have money are powerful. You should remember that you need to be aware of where your money is going and not spend it until you get what you want. You can use this strategy in business deals or any kind of financial dealings. This means that if you give money without taking any service or goods, the possibility of being deceived increases. It could happen that if someone has already taken your money, they might not fulfill their promises. Therefore, to stay safe, obtain what you want before entrusting someone with your money. Usually, in any ordinary dealing, less money is involved. So, going to court or spending time to recover the money might prove to be an expensive deal for you. These cheaters don't have their own money, so even if you win a court case against them, they won't be able to return anything. In the end, both sides will suffer a financial loss and both lawyers will find an opportunity to make money. These are some reasons why, once you've given money to a fraudster, you cannot recover it, so you need to think and act wisely. R.B. Sparkman himself got trapped in this web and lost $800 by giving it to his roommate. In those days, Sparkman's roommate was in the carpet business. Sparkman considered his roommate a friend, so he gave an advance payment of $600 for a carpet in his house. After giving the money, their friendship broke. Despite Sparkman's advance payment, he never received the carpet. His roommate had taken an additional $200 from him without informing, and the phone in Sparkman's apartment was in his name. Due to long-distance calls made by his roommate for a month, a bill of $200 accumulated. Unfortunately, Sparkman had to pay this bill. One day, when Sparkman realized that his roommate had his $800, he tried calling him, but he never answered the phone. Frustrated, Sparkman decided to transfer the apartment lease to his roommate's name. After signing the lease on April 30th, there was a significant change in his roommate's behavior. He started treating Sparkman not as a roommate, but more like an animal. After getting the apartment lease, he became even more powerful. Sparkman insisted that his roommate at least pay him $200, but the roommate asked him to pack up within an hour. On the midnight of April 30th, Sparkman was thrown out of the apartment. With no other option, he left his furniture on the street and moved into a motel. Sparkman became weak against his roommate. This happened because $800 slipped through his hands. Manipulating someone's thinking. 
The best way to manipulate people is to decide whose mind you can change and whose you cannot. It is 100% true that you cannot manipulate someone unless they like and respect you. So, manipulate those who like you and respect you. If you try to manipulate someone who is not friendly with you, all your time, effort, and patience will be wasted. Moreover, whenever you try to change such a person, they might argue with you. No matter what you do, you will never be able to change the mind of such individuals. Before your conversation turns into an argument, you need to stop your efforts and step back. Always remember that you can only convince those who like and respect you. So apply the rule only to those and manipulate those with whom you have a friendship. To make it successful, first you need to establish a good relationship with them so that you can control them. At the age of 20, R.B. Sparkman worked as a car salesman, a job he did not like at all. He never could sell cars and got tired of the job. After working for a few weeks, he decided to quit. But still, Sparkman continued going to work because his salary was due weekly. He stopped trying to sell cars because he thought he would leave the job soon anyway. However, he was surprised when he succeeded in selling some cars. A customer came and Sparkman just introduced himself. He did not talk about selling cars or business. He only asked the customer to test drive the car and did not talk much about it. Instead, he asked the customer about their family and children. He never thought that by being friendly with the customer, he could earn money. After that moment, Sparkman started being friendly with his customers. He became skilled at selling cars and fell in love with his job. Sparkman found that by considering his customers as friends, selling cars became easy for him. Sparkman decided to change his way of selling cars with his new technique. He abandoned his old tactics of selling cars and instead tried to befriend his customers. After that, making money became much easier for him. Conclusion In this summary, you have learned about different types of characters so that you can avoid deception. People who try to gain your trust and make you happy are often deceitful. Those who talk about their lost money are also mostly dishonest. It's better to stay away from individuals with these characters. You have learned about intermittent reinforcement or irregular reinforcement. People always want what they don't have. If you provide both happiness and sorrow, that person will do anything to gain your affection. You have learned how to manipulate people successfully through secret means. The best strategy for this is to become unknown or soft. This strategy will not give the person any hint about your intentions or targeting them for manipulation. You have also learned that money holds power and the one who possesses money is powerful. Never give money to someone until you get your desired product or service from them. You have also learned that you should know whose mind you can change and whose you cannot. You can easily manipulate people who like and respect you, so befriend them before attempting manipulation. You should have confidence in yourself that you can influence people, make an impact on them. Understanding human nature has become crucial in today's world for survival and self-preservation. It depends on you whether you will apply what you have learned for good or bad deeds. You can also avoid making others victims. By adopting this tactic, you can achieve success and accomplish significant tasks. Hope you make the right choices.